Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just try to paint a picture of what has been happening throughout the entire night. What we can see right now is that the government are like cavemen, sitting around and discussing the statement of the fact that we can have self-driving cars. And all they are thinking of is, how can an engine make a car run? They don't even consider the fact that we can add an additional system, that we can discover something more, that we can realize something that is beneath the surface that they are barely scratching. They claim that we live in utopia, but throughout our entire side trying to discuss this, no one ever mentioned utopia. Actually, all we have mentioned is how destructive we've been how ruined our planet is, how almost dead we are. No one ever mentioned the fact that let's all go be nice and fluffy and just save the world. We're literally saying let's just try to grow some good in hopes that it might, it might counteract all the bad that we've already done. <clears throat> they also created an assumption and built entire debates on it. They assumed that the drug, the final drug, will not have some understanding of morality, but will always be hindered, just like their mentality, and always just looking at the actions or movements of what's behind morality without even understanding it. And we have been yelling out that through research, we can discover a lot more. Information? Yes. Uh, since he said we were cavemen, don't you think at the Stone Age cavemen would be premature to research an engine without going through the steps in between? Don't, don't you think this applies also to the debate topic? Uh, I think the fact that we have a chance to research something, and I was about to mention that actually the moral questions we have as dilemmas right now might be answered through this research. Can't you think for one second that the whole debate of whether morality is nature or nurture, the fact that one researcher found a gene that reflects morality actually ends this debate by a fact and a proof that we actually found out that we do have morals built in. Point of information? No, thank you. Like the definite, the... Deputy Opposition Leader mentioned that through research we can discover a lot more. Actually, we have proven that throughout our history. The, the GPS was just a coincidence. Microwaves were supposed to be a, a radar uh, project. A pacemaker that actually saves a lot of lives right now was just supposed to be a, a heart rhythm recorder. Yet we just found them along the way. The government cannot even think for one second what are we capable of finding throughout this research. We can find cures for, we cannot even just find cures for mental disorders, we can actually find an understanding for mental disorders. Since in the day we live in, we have a lot of drugs for them, yet we have no reason behind it. When we look at depression, we say, maybe it's serotonin, or glutamate, or a GIT problem, or, or, or. Maybe through this research, yes, we're aiming at moral enhancement, but maybe we'll find something in a totally different field that would actually help us, like the deputy opposition leader mentioned. Point of information? Yes. You're painting a very nice image, but don't you, know, how can you guarantee that the research itself in morality and moral enhancing drugs is not going to be misused, just like the research in other technological areas which your side has been I'm talking about the whole debate. After we discovered if the nuclear, <coughs> nuclear weapons, as your site had mentioned, uh, we, after we realized the disaster, we created the system for it. Right now, no one is truly allowed to use nuclear weapon. Yes, we threaten each other with it, but no one is allowed to use it. And a lot of countries are not even allowed to research it because we created the system. This is the problem with your site. You're too scared of the possibility to the point that you cannot even consider the fact that we might go with the research and create a system that will not only provide it for the elite, but provide it for the rest. 
What if it's not just the private sector working on it, but also the government? This is how you actually supply a drug like that for the poor. So your point of the whole it being directed towards the elite, you literally neglected any system of supervision by the government. You didn't even provide an alternative. You just stated that research is bad because it might fall in the wrong hand, and you didn't even consider for one second that it might be monitored. The government has been stating throughout its entire debate that we need to go for a more sustainable resources, a more sustainable way to grow our morality. And all they've used is the current states. If it's truly a sustainable system, why are we here? Why are we fighting? Why is there racism? Why are we sexually harassing each other? Why are we ostracizing each other? Why all of this is happening, if it's truly working, then where's the effect? Because all you can see is we're going down the drain and not up. With our research, we're actually giving the people the freedom of choice. The drug will not be opposed. It's free, just like the opposition leader mentioned. Everyone can decide for their own whether to take it or not. And the fact that they're so scared of a chemical interacting with our brain and deciding anything for us for the fear of the side effects or the fear of the effect, does that mean that we need to stop giving cancer treatment? Because some treatments can cause cancer as a side effect. Do, does that mean that we need to stop antidepressants and, see, and leave people to, so, to their suicidal thoughts just because of, we're scared of the consequences? This is worth a try. Our humanity is at risk, and it's worth a try. What we will find, what we will find along the way and the end goal will always be beneficial. Thank you.